Let's give you a few more examples of this, see if you can see the pattern of what's happening. All of these shapes have uh, two lines of symmetry, but they also have rotational symmetry. N notice that when this side here gets reflected, it matches here. And when it gets reflected over the y-axis there, or the vertical one, it matches here. It would also be true about this angle. This angle matches to here because of the one reflection and because of the second one over here. This side matches this side, matches this side. What's actually happening, if you can see uh, the pattern, is that this region here is not only getting duplicated by the one reflection, but it's getting duplicated over here as well, creating that rotation that is in the shape. Let's look at another one here. Let's grab uh, H. So you can see that, uh, again, this region here is getting duplicated by the first reflection here, but the second reflection places it over here, thus again creating a region here that will exactly be a region here. And, as in the last case, there is a rotation of 180 degrees that works in that case. Maybe one more example. I've got some extras here. Um, this one's a good one because it uh, uh, looks like a rhombus in terms of its design. Uh, let's look at the same thing. To see how this uh, angle down here gets reproduced up here because of this reflection. And uh, this angle up in uh, this region up in here gets reproduced over here because of the other reflection. And so uh, it has a line of reflection through here. So this region or area is getting duplicated over in here and once again we see that rotation of 180 degrees existing. There's some clues there maybe to help you out.